All right, David. We started first with Terry Davis. How you doing, D. Melton? He's great. How about you? My life is good, man. It's one thing to get a lead in the NBA, but it's another thing to maintain it and do it. What did it take to talk, talk about the, the maturation of this team of being able to keep a lead against good teams? I think that's the one thing uh, we really want to focus on because uh, in the past we've got up big and uh, we've let teams come back and let teams uh, have confidence. So uh, we really just working on just, you know, attacking from the jump and just dominate, you know, every minute of the game if we can, honestly. Christos? Uh, hello, D'Antoni. Congratulations on the win. This win and the way that you won tonight is a kind of a statement about your potential as a team and about you. How enjoyable is to share the court with Ja? I mean, he's special. Uh, rookie of the year, should have been an all-star. So, I mean, the kid is special. And it's, it's only his second year, so he's just getting started. And, and that's the crazy part. And, I mean, we're all here for his show. And we're all just, you know, going to be a part of it, honestly. Joe Molinak. Congratulations, DeAnthony. You obviously had a pretty successful night defensively against uh, two of the best guards in the NBA, especially Bradley Beal, the leading scorer in the NBA. What do you do as a defender when you go into a game where you know you're going to play an elite scorer like that? You know there's a game plan, but when you individually have that matchup, how do you attack it personally and prepare for that type of play against that level of score? I think it's just being disciplined. Um, like you said, they're great scorers. So they're going to get theirs and they're going to get, uh, you know, they're going to make tough shots. So we just want to make it as difficult as possible for them. Um, and I just want to be disciplined, you know, not fouling them, not giving them easy, easy points at the free throw line. So uh, it also takes the team, though. Um, I want to play them go out there, just, you know, lock them up because they got to play in the set series for them, too. So we just want to make sure we got dirty whatever you need to Evan Barnes. Hello, bro. D'Anthony, uh, Taylor was talking to us just about how much he focuses on the process and how you guys have really um, appreciated him teaching development. What have you seen just in these two years with him about how he teaches you guys and how you guys are just not just testing the process, but just, you know, developing, and getting better from this year to last year, last year to this year, excuse me. Uh, I mean, like you said, just getting better. Um, we just want to, you know, constantly keep getting better and just, you know, stay active and stay on it, honestly. Uh, I think everybody on this group uh, is bought into getting better and everybody understands that uh, what getting better does for you. So I just think we just got to keep pushing along, keep uh, keep understanding what the process does for us. Final question, Nicole. Hi, congrats for the win. At, at this point of the season, is the mid of the season right now. What is your balance with the team? Uh, which were, were which for you the big focus to the second part, second part of the season? Sorry. Uh, I would say uh, rest, honestly. You just got to get rest and also get your, uh, get your work in at the same time. Um, it's a long season and we got a lot of uh, back to back road trips coming up. So just staying, just staying ready and just keeping positive attitudes, honestly. Uh, and just staying together as a team is going to get us through all this, honestly. Thank you.